Shabbat Shalom and welcome to Woodridge Forest United Synagogue's Sedra Synopsis. This week we learn about the eighth day, Shmini. Aaron and his sons begin to officiate as Kohenim and prepare a fat sacrifice and a fire comes from Hashem to consume the offerings on the altar. The Jewish people are so overwhelmed and overjoyed by this amazing sight that they begin to sing praises to God. Amidst the celebrations, Aaron's two elder sons, Nadav and Avihu, brought before God an offering they were not commanded to. As a punishment, they die before God. Aaron remains silent and accepts God's judgments. Moses tells Aaron and his remaining sons, Eliezer and Itamar, to continue doing the service in the Mishkan. And they do, while the rest of the people of Israel mourn the death of Nadab and Avihu. God then commands the laws of Kashrut, in particular, identifying the animals that are permissible and forbidden for consumption. Land animals may only be eaten if they have split hooves and they chew the cud. Fish must have fins and scales to be kosher. A list of non-kosher birds is given, and we are also told the four insects which are kosher, four types of locusts. In Shmini, we also learn about the laws of ritual purity and the purifying power of the mikvah.